$39.99. Are you effing kidding me? So I'm inside a garden center right now and I am looking at the prices and I actually can't believe it. Check this out. $12.99 for this little plant. Look at this. This is 50% off. $30. $30 for that. $10.99. $6.99. That's still a little pricey, but it's getting better. Look at this. $9.99. $9.99 for this little thing. $17.99, guys. That's insane. $14.99. $89.99 Are you kidding me? Now this is really cool. This is called a Savage Garden and uh, they have a pitcher plant. These, what is this? Colasanta? Yeah, Asian pitcher plant. How much are they? $11.99. Now that's something I would pay $11.99 for. $39.99? Are you effing kidding me? $60 for this plant. This is actually insane, wow. Okay, this is something that I really highly recommend for those of you who are in really cold climates like I am. Uh, like this year we got down to minus 40. Anyway, uh, this is a heated water for chickens and it's a lifesaver. So now into the seed section. There are a lot of different companies that carry uh, seeds and of course the prices are always different um, depending on the company you have your basic uh, seeds and then you have your organic seeds and um, I find that organic is always a lot more expensive at least triple the price of regular seeds uh, double or triple I'm going to be growing onions this year for the very first time um, and these sweet Spanish onions are long day onions and uh, that's what we have to grow here in the frigid north. I'm in uh, zone 5a and the cottage is in zone 4b so uh, excuse the dirty fingernails you know how it is gardeners. <laughs> um, so it'll be the first time also it's the first time growing garlic this year. I Last year my son and I planted a bunch of bulbs 
uh, just that we'd picked up from the grocery store. They weren't seed bulbs or anything. So they may not be successful. They may be, I'm not sure. But I just find that seed garlic is super expensive. So I'm trying my luck with the clove garlic and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, so they're all uh, tucked away in the beds. Um, of course, I gotta get my peas going. And uh, all along my backyard, along the fence, there's this uh, chicken wire. <clears throat> I know it sounds bad, but you can't really see it when everything's growing on it. And uh, I'm going to be, so I'm going to be growing my peas on that. And of course, got to get some cucumelons. I grew those a couple of years ago. Um, they're also called mouse melons, and they have a little bit of a sour taste to them, just slightly. Uh, but they're mostly like a cucumber. And they're really good in salads and stuff uh, if you chop them up. Um, I've I grew broccoli last year, but I find it takes up so much space in my garden that I I don't have that much space. Like I've jam packed my backyard and my front yard, and uh, I'm growing so many things like vertically and and whatnot. But uh, I just don't have enough space for like cabbage and broccoli and stuff like that. Um, here's the organic. Look at the prices of the organic. The cucumbers, like five bucks. Almost six bucks. Like five bucks for lettuce. I don't know. It's pretty pricey in my opinion. What's the difference anyway? Like if you get an organic seed or like a seed that was maybe the garden was sprayed with pesticides. Like does it really make a difference? Uh, is there a difference in the genetics? I'd be curious to know uh, because like that's a really, uh, is it just advertising uh, like gearing towards people who want um, to be organic and stuff like that or is it actually legitimately um, different, the seed I'm talking about? So that's something I'd like to know. Okra, I tried it, I bought it um, at the, the supermarket and I tried it and wasn't a fan of the texture. Uh, radishes, of course, uh, I'm gonna be planting those soon. I checked my soil today and a lot of the snow is gone, but the soil is still solid. So give it another week or so, probably near the beginning of April, I can get my radishes uh, out there. So I'm curious, you guys, do you pay that much money, like 40 bucks for a little plant in your garden center where you are? Uh, let me know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.